<clears throat> Hi folks, um, so the work we're going to do today guys is a little bit on basic constructions you need to know and you need to learn in first year, okay? So the first one we're going to learn about is bisecting a line, okay? Now if we measure the line out 80 millimeters and we wanted to get the middle of it, if I just do a line there, 80 millimeters and I want to get the middle, well chances are we know half 80 is 40 millimeters. However, at times we don't know the exact measurement of a line or the line might be between 86.5 and 87 or something like that, okay? So what we need to do is we need to learn how to bisect the line. There's a little technique for it, okay? So take this line here, okay? It has two ends on it. I have not measured the line. I have drawn a random line, okay? And what I want to do is I want to bisect it, okay? So first of all, I can roughly guess where the middle of that line is. It's in about here, okay? I'm, I'd, I'd be fairly accurate guess it's in about there. But what I want to do is I want to get the exact point of it, okay? The exact middle. So the way to do that is we're going to use our compass, okay? So what we do is we take our compass and we put it on either end of the line and you're going to pick a distance on your compass that's bigger than halfway. So I guess roughly half is about there. So I'm going to pick a distance that's roughly bigger than halfway, a little bit bigger. And what I want to do then is I want to scribe an arc above the line that way and below and scribe an arc above and below the line this way. Okay. When you have that done, what you're going to do is, where the two arcs cross each other, here and here, what you're going to do is you're going to connect them two points. And when you connect the two of those points, what you'll have actually found is the center of the line. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to repeat that process once more. And only this time, you can see my line is at a slightly a skewed angle. Okay? Okay, it's an inclined line. So the same process, once again, I'm going to roughly guess that the middle of the line is right there. So I'm going to go to either end of the line, I'm going to pick a distance that's greater than halfway, that's about greater than halfway. This time I'm not going to do the whole arc, I'm just going to make a little bit of an arc up here, and a little bit of an arc down here, keeping it a little bit neater. And I'm going to keep the same distance on my compass, you have to keep the same distance. Okay. And then do arcs above and below the line again. Okay, and obviously there, where the two arcs cross each other here and here and up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect those points, this one to this one. This time, once again, I'm not going to do a line the whole way. I'm just going to mark the middle line like that. Okay, and as you can see, that's a little bit neater. Okay, that there, guys, is the process of bisecting a line. Okay, now the next one we're going to progress on top is bisecting angles. Okay, so I'm going to take you up to this angle first of all. Okay, and we have an angle. A, B, C. Okay? And I have to find the middle of that angle in there, okay? So if I was to do a line in the middle of the angle, I'd imagine a line would go out something like that there, okay? And what I want to do, I don't know what that angle is. I haven't measured it with a protractor. That is a randomly drawn angle, okay? So the method for bisecting an angle, okay? To bisect an angle is this, okay? Where are the two lines, okay, the two arms of the line, so the arm AB and the, and the arm uh, CB, okay, meet, okay, at that point there at B, what you're going to do is you're going to take your compass, okay, you're going to set your compass to any distance, and what you're going to do is you're going to scribe an arc to cut both arms. You're going to cut the arm BC, and you're going to cut the arm AB, okay, and it's going to cut it here at point, I'm going to call this point number one, and this one, point number two. Okay, at point number one, okay, it doesn't matter now, you can change the distance on your compass, it doesn't matter, I'm going to keep it roughly the same, it's easier, I always just keep it the same as the arc that I originally did, okay, so roughly the same, so I'll keep it roughly the same, it doesn't matter, you can go bigger or smaller, it makes no difference, but I'm going to keep it the same, at point number one, okay, I'm going to scribe another arc inside here in the space inside here, and keeping the same distance on my compass at point number two, Going to scribe another arc. Where those two arcs crossed each other, I'm going to connect that there to point B. And what you'll actually notice is we have now split our angle ABC into two. Okay, so from here to here, this distance in here, okay, so I'll call it distance, I'll put in this little one here, this little symbol, okay, is the same as this distance. Okay, they are equal. 
to one another. Okay, that there is equal to that. Okay, the angles are the exact same as one another. Okay, so we're going to repeat that process now down here on another angle. Okay, and this time you can see the angle is a little bit bigger, but we're going to follow the same process. So you don't have to label, but I often find it helps. So A, B, C. So I want to bisect my angle A, B, C. I'm going to pick a distance on my compass. Make it a little bit smaller this time. I'm going to scribe an arc to cut it. Okay, and I'm going to call this time this one is number one. This one's number two. And this time I'm actually going to change the distance on my compass just to show you. Okay, I'm going to change it out to about maybe there. And at number two, I'm going to scribe an arc roughly where I think the middle of it would be. And at number one, keeping the same distance as I had for number two, at number one, I'm going to scribe another arc. And where the two arcs cross one another, sorry, I am going to connect them back to B, where the two lines were meeting. Okay, and what we have now found is that the angle in here, okay, inside in here, is the same as the angle in here. Okay, very, very simple. That is bisecting an angle. Now, the last construction I want us to work on, guys, okay, is this one up here. And what we're going to do here is this thing called division of lines, okay? So I'll write that up there just so you can. Division of lines, okay? That's what we're working on in this one. So I've got a line here. I have no clue what the measurement is. I'll check there. Just see roughly what it is. Okay, I'll just check. It is, it's telling me uh, about 89 millimeters, okay? And what I want to do is I want to divide that line up into four, okay? Into four equal parts, okay? So, it's 89 millimeters. Four does not divide into 89 equally. It would divide into 88, but it doesn't divide into 89, okay? So if I want to divide a line up into four equal parts, there's a little process for doing that, okay? So what we're going to do is, let's say the line is called AB. Doesn't matter now which side you do this off in a second, you'll see why in a second, all right? But if I want to divide a line up into four equal parts, what I can do is, from A, okay, I'm going to do a random line at an angle. It doesn't matter what angle, okay? I just kind of make sure that the angle is big enough so it doesn't get awkward for me. So at A, I'm going to do a random line out at an angle okay and what I want to do is if I want to divide the line up into four equal parts I want four equal measurements of a number okay so I could do four fives four tens four fifteens four twenties it doesn't matter okay but I am going to pick a nice easy round number and from a I'm going to measure out four equal measurements of ten so ten 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 and ten okay so you can see those little marks there it was 10, 20, 30, and 40, okay? Now, at this point, what we're going to do is, at the very, very last one, so let's say we call that one, two, three, and four, that's the last one. At the last one, if I wanted five, I would have just gone another 10. At the last one, number four, I'm gonna connect that to the other end of the line. I'm gonna connect that to B, okay? I'm gonna zoom out here now so you can see how it happens, because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna divide the line AB into four equal parts by using sliding set squares. So, I'll just zoom down there so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so I line up my four point with the end of the line B. I'm going to take my other set square and I'm going to pop it here underneath it. And all I'm going to do then is I'm going to slide to number three, to number two. And then finally, mass and tape there getting caught. And then the exact same to number one. Okay, let's zoom back in there now. And what you'll actually notice is we have divided the line up AB into four equal parts. Okay, here that's part one, part two, part three, and part four. 
Okay, very very simple construction there, guys, and that's quite a handy one uh, that often comes up in questions where you will not be given the measurement line, but you'll see that it has to be in three equal portions and so forth. I'm going to practice that once more, guys, down here, just to show you it can be done with any kind of line. Okay, so once more time, that we'll call this A. Once again, we'll call this B, and this time I'm going to do it off B. Okay, so uh, this time I'm going to divide the line up into five. Okay. So, okay, don't know what the measurement of the line is. Going to do a random line out. See, I took it longer this time. Doesn't make a difference. And this time I'm going to do, yeah, we'll do 520s just to show you. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll do 520s. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to have to measure it backwards here, just based off the space I have with the visualizer. So, 520s. So, 20 out. So, 10 back to 80, back to 60 back to 40, back to 20, back to 0. So that's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, okay? So that's the space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I did it off the other side this time, it doesn't matter. At the end one, you connect that to the opposite side, in this case I'm connecting it to A, okay? As you can see I've done there, and now I'm going to split that line up, so watch, I'm going to do once again a little bit of sliding set squares, okay? So I'm going to put the other line up with this set square with the line you want to copy. Put the other set square here, or it could go up here. Be absolutely fine. I'm going to put it here, base because my visualizer is right here and I can't slide it up. So I'm going to slide it down. So slide to number four, to number three. Make sure and keep. This set square on my left, the 3061, the stable one, okay. Number two, and then finally, number one. And there we go. Now, if I zoom back in, what you'll see is I have now divided up the line AB this time into five equal parts, okay. Number one, number two, number three, number four five parts five equal portions okay so guys what I want you to do for work is I want you to do five examples of bisecting a line five examples of bisecting an angle and five examples of, div or of um, division of lines okay so you'll see there on the page now I know I've got a big A3 page here you can do this on any type of paper you can do it on a copy book or something like that okay it doesn't have to be extremely big, okay? I understand we're all kind of limited with what equipment we have at home at this moment in time, okay? So all I had there was bisect the line, okay? And this one was bisect an angle, okay? And then division of lines. So I want to see for work, guys, five examples of that, five examples of this, and then five examples of this, okay? And you can do an example where you do a line into three, a line into four, a line into five, six, and seven, and so on, okay? It's your choice, okay? Um, if you want to do the same numbers and then just orientate the lines, that's absolutely fine as well, but I just need to see that you know how to do it, okay? So that's your work there for this uh, class there, guys, all right? Best of luck with that.